There are over 300 species of salamanders in the United States, and spring and summer are great times to look for them in the wild. This little guy, obviously, is the spotted salamander. Hi, I'm Amy from Fox Run. Spring is here, and today I'm going to give you some tips on finding salamanders in the wild. Salamanders are a unique group of animals. They are amphibians, like frogs, and may live in water or on land. This happy guy is a barred tiger salamander, and they are common in the Northwest. First things first. When holding a salamander, be respectful of its body. Salamanders can get squished pretty easy. Hold your hand flat and close to the ground. That way, if they make a run for it, they won't fall and get hurt. Look at them for a minute and then let them go back to their salamander business. We do want to make sure we have clean hands and do not handle them too much. It also helps if your hands are wet so as not to dry out their skin. You never want to hold the salamander by the tail and never dangle them above the ground. This would be frightening for the animal and pretty disrespectful. Remember that salamanders are delicate. Don't hold them in the sun. Know the species in your area. Many salamander species can excrete toxins from their skin. The rough skin newt can cause a burning sensation. All amphibians have bacteria in their skin, and that can make a human sick, so hand washing is important as well. Now let's talk about where to find them. In spring and summer, you may see eggs or larvae around creeks and ponds. Slow-moving streams are, with lots of cover are the best. Salamanders especially like vernal ponds. These are seasonal pools without fish, so make a great breeding ground for amphibians. Scientists call them ephemeral wetlands. Look for these pools in springtime after spring rains. Look for clusters of eggs. Don't handle the eggs as the casing can get pulled apart, exposing and killing the unborn salamander. Salamanders will be out hunting and looking for mates in cooler weather than you may think. The best temperature is between 45 and 65 degrees Fahrenheit to find them out and about. Decayed logs like this one are a good place to look for salamanders. The log is absorbing lots of moisture, as we can tell by the sprouting fungi. The decaying action gives the critters a place to crawl into, stay moist, and look for prey. Turn logs over gently and roll them back in the same place after you peek under them. Be cautious and aware if you have venomous snakes in your location. For example, this young cottonmouth also appreciates a moist location. Always wear sturdy hiking boots. I hope this information has been helpful so far. Please boop that like button if it has. Rainy days often bring salamanders out of their underground hiding places and to the surface of the ground where they are easier to spot. Grab an umbrella and some sturdy boots and get looking. Similar to frogs, salamanders have a life cycle that takes them through four stages, egg, larvae, juvenile, and adult. Salamanders lead a double life, just like having a secret identity. Salamander eggs are laid in clumps that are surrounded by an outer layer of gelatinous material. Frog eggs don't have that outer layer. Salamanders lay eggs in water as well as on land. Some species lay their eggs in moist areas under logs or rocks. Salamanders, like frogs, have two distinct life stages. They have a larval stage and an adult stage. The larval form of the marbled salamander can often be seen in ponds in the spring in the eastern United States. So what is super cool about salamanders? They glow in the dark. Biofluorescence occurs in many species. 
Biofluorescence is the ability to absorb visible light and ultraviolet light and readmit it at a lower energy level. You do need a special flashlight for this, but they cost the same as a regular flashlight. I will put a link to one in the description. So take a flashlight walk and look for salamanders at night. You will need a regular flashlight and a UV flashlight. Many species also hunt at nighttime, so it's a good time to spot them. There are lots of things you can do to help salamanders. My last tip is to build your own amphibian-friendly habitat in your backyard. Providing wildlife habitat in your yard and making it salamander-friendly is a great way to provide them with places to breed and look for food. This is a great example of a shallow pond geared towards amphibians. Yes, that would be a fish pond with no fish. The fish feed on the frog and salamander eggs. So in this instance, we don't want them. If you build a backyard pond, you can add plants and rocks along the edges. This makes a great place for amphibians to hide during the day and lay their eggs. Salamanders need cool, dark places to hide during the day. Old logs, rocks, and patio stones make good habitat for them. I once moved a large plastic doghouse and saw two spotted salamanders scurry away. A garden path with low growing plants can make a good salamander habitat. Piles of rocks on the edge of a yard can provide erosion control and a place for water to pool. It makes a nice hiding spot for salamanders. Check out my channel for more videos on wildlife conservation and organic gardening. Take care and have a wonderful day.